the Muppet Show with our very special guest, Dark. Zyda Rose. They must have brainwashed him. <laughs> it's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, motivational. This is what we call the Muppet Show. Thank you, thank you. Hi ho, and welcome to Game Shampoo Review. Zyda Rose here, and today our special guest star is... Not yet, Walter. Our special guest star is Jim Henson's Muppet Adventures Volume 1 Chaos at the Carnival. It was going to be one of several games, but just became one game with several in it. It was originally released in 1989 on Apple II, Commodore 64, and MS-DOS. It was ported over to the Nintendo Entertainment System and released in November of 1990. And that's the one we're looking at today. This amazing game isn't just one game, it's five games. And the whole game starts with a newsflash! Newsflash! Miss Piggy has been picnapped by Dr. Grump. Um, she's been taken to the Carnival of Chaos and the Muppets are off to rescue her. There are four rides that the Muppets need to best, and find keys hidden inside each. There's the Raging River Ride, featuring Kermit the Frog. Kermit needs to navigate the river in his inner tube. Just move left and right to weave through the rocks, the whirlpools, and the odd boater. Collect periscopes for health, and collect buoys for life. Make it to the end and grab the key to finish this ride. Crushing Car Course is next with Animal. Animal needs to spin and speed his way through an obstacle course. He has to watch out for the numerous bombs. Otherwise, he just needs to dodge the rubber bands and the rising pillars. If he manages to weave his way to the end, that's another key. The third game features the great Gonzo, LOST IN SPACE! <laughs> Whoopee! He's spinning his space capsule, blasting away UFOs, meteors, and the opposing fires. There's some tight maneuvering, but nothing Gonzo the Great can't navigate. He can rescue chickens and capsules for extra lives, and this does include Camilla, his beloved. There's fuel frequently found to restore his health as well, and you're gonna need it. Careful of those barriers that he needs to blast through. Get to the end and face off against the mother ship and claim the key. Fourth is Fozzie Bear. Thank you, thank you, and thank you! Boy, did I go to a bad seafood place last night. The catch of the day was salmonella. Ah, waka waka. He needs to navigate the 30 levels of the winding ice cream maze. Waka waka. Uh, with the ability to collect and throw an item, Fozzie needs to make it through all the levels, avoiding the hazards, the mice, the dogs, the moving walls. If he collects the three bow ties or presents that appear, he advances deeper into the labyrinth. You don't by any chance know the way through this labyrinth, do you? Oh, me? No, I'm just a worm. <laughs> oh. Come inside and meet the missus. Wait, 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 wait. Wrong labyrinth. No one appreciates <laughs> calm. Make it to floor 30, you get the key. Poor Fuzzy. I don't know whether to laugh or feel sorry for him. He wanted to make us laugh. I feel sorry for him. Whoa! <laughs> hey, across the four games, the Muppets each needed to collect a key from the rides. By collecting all four, they gain access to the fifth and final ride, the last level, the Grumpasaur Cave. Hey, 
inside the Grufasaur Cave. The daring Kermit descends within. He needs to jump and fight his way through the entire cave with a feather. He'll be confronted with fireballs, bats, and treacherous platforming. The grand and great question is if Kermit can triumph over the Grumpasaur. And even if Kermit defeats the Grumpasaur, he then needs to confront the Dr. Grumps. Dr. Grumps will be dropping bombs on the feather-wielding frog. And this feather-wielding frog can send up hearts to hit and defeat Dr. Grumps. Manage all that, and the Muppets will free Miss Piggy. This game plays in the absolute spins. There's very little up and down, but a lot of to the left, to the right with a little bit of help from A and B. All the rides are fun and easy to learn, but hard to master. Plenty of challenge abounds and a lot of fun falling and failing. Overall, this is an amazing thing to play. Hey, it's the Muppets set to music and games. There's so much variety in the games themselves, too. Find this game and play it any way that you can. Hey, Walter. Now. How charming. A finale. Just when you think this show is terrible, something wonderful happens. What? It ends. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>